What's up, everyone? This is the Chicago Sports Talk, Michael, here today with another video. Today, we're going to be reacting to my boy, RJ and CEO's uh, Unfiltered Sports Podcast. Apparently, for whatever the reason, whenever I do a video on CEO, RJ wants him to react to it. And I'm pretty sure as soon as I drop this video, the next Unfiltered Sports podcast, they're going to be reacting to me, reacting to them, reacting to me, which is kind of crazy and funny at the same time. So we're going to watch and I'm going to pause whenever I want to debunk something that they say. So if you don't know who RJ is, he is a uh, Giants fan who does the Unfiltered Sports podcast, usually on the weekends, most likely on Sundays, because CEO has a bedtime. And CEO, who is a Ravens fan, a um, community that uh, I was a part of, you know, he was funny, but he's not funny now. So let's watch this video, uh, video of them reacting to me. And I'm pretty sure... As soon as I drop this, the next Unfiltered Sports Podcast, they're going to be reacting to me, reacting to them, reacting to me, which is f funny. See what uh, I haven't watched the video, for those of you who um, don't know, I haven't watched it, but according to uh, uh, what's his name, it's a little less. Let's play it. Yo, what's this shitty-ass music? It's Roman Reigns' music in a in an instrumental music, so I don't get fucking copyright. Sounds like some fucking Zelda music or some shit. Oh, I see copied you. Michael, your intro is too long, by the way. Yo, yo, yo. My intro is not even that long. It's like 34, 35 seconds, but okay. So what is up, guys? This is the Chicago Sports Talk. Michael here today with another video. The Baltimore Ravens will win a game. As I go through the schedule, CEO, have my money at the end of the season. That's all CEO, I got to say. But let's go through these games and the, and the reason why. I don't think the Ravens are going to be a complete trash team. I just think they'll be a mediocre team at best. And what I mean by mediocre team, folks, I mean a mediocre team, barely 500. Maybe you get into the playoffs, sneak in as a seven seed, oh, and first round exits. So this season, the Houston Texans. Now, if the Ravens were playing the Texans like at like week eight or week 12, I probably would say that this is a little bit of a trap game, but ending of the season, you know, Bryce Young, I mean, not, not Bryce Young, uh, CJ Stroud is good, their quarterback and, you know, pause it, pause it, pause it, going pause against it, a right. uh, really pause confident. It, pause it, bro. This is, okay, so, so when I heard this shit, I threw up all over myself, CJ. Yeah, I bet you so, did. You're picking the Texans, not because the Ravens are the better team, not because the Texans are a rebuilding team, not because the Texans suck dick. It's because they're playing them week one. Wait, wait, wait. he picked the Texans? I thought... No, 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 no. His point is the reason why he's picking you guys is because it's week one. Okay, That's not... the oh. only reason why. Oh, okay, so if it was like in week 11, he would have picked the Texans. Absolutely. No, I wouldn't because I would still pick the Ravens. But the fact that you're not getting RJ is because the Texans, even though that they have a rookie quarterback, they are a – at best, they're a mid-team. I'm not saying that they're going to win their division because, as I'm saying, I said that's Jacksonville's division. But the I'm, I promise you that the Texans will finish second in their division. They'll probably win like six games unless Stroud turns into rookie Andrew Luck. The re and the reason why I say that the Ravens will win is because we don't know what Stroud will be week one. If the Ravens – and that's why I said if the Ravens were playing the Texans early, uh, later this season was because of the simple fact that if Stroud is Andrew Luck, that's a totally different outcome. 
Are you- oh yeah, we forgot to you know give a disclaimer to the to the new viewers. If you don't know who Michael is, he's the um, good he's like for the, you. He's the. In- I'm pretty sure everybody knows who the fuck I am. You don't. They um been watching me. I'm pretty much RJ. Most of your subscribers are either Giants fans that or Fist Vegas followers. House moron. So we'll we'll play. <laughs> We'll continue. Did opponent the Village Ravens, idiots. You know, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if That's Stroud, corny. you know, uh, has a multiple interceptions that game, as many rookie quarterbacks do. So I'll give them a win. Bengals. Do we really need to say this loss? Joe Burrow owns the Ravens. The Bungles have improved a lot. A lot, really. And they, are- they improved because they pretty much kept the same roster and they – added some pieces to the offensive line to help Joe Burrow be in a good pocket. I know Hollywood, uh, not Hollywood, uh, Orlando Brown, who was their, I guess you could say that's their biggest signing to give Joe Burrow ample amount of time in the pocket. Or more better than the Ravens. Burrow is better than Lamar. Is a fact. They have a better receiving cord than the Ravens. So that's a loss. Colts, I'll give you that. Rich, I don't. Richardson is a uh, unproven in my book, you know. So I'll give you that. So you guys are two and one. You, you guys travel to Cleveland. That's you guys got. Here's here's a thing that you're not realizing. The Ravens have three away games. All right, and I don't think that's even being enough realized. So it's possible that you lose to the Browns. You lose to the Steelers, and you maybe bounce back against the Titans, even though it's in London, so anything could happen. Oh, yeah, London. This makes a big difference. And then – Actually, it does make a huge difference, RJ. Team, the Ravens are going through three away games, and they have to travel, especially going to a different country. And I don't think this is even being acknowledged. If the Titans get DeAndre Hopkins – isn't that a different game? Because the Titans are trying to compete still, even though they should have dismantled the, their team. They're going to get Hopkins probably on a cheap deal, and I don't. And they're going to start Ryan Tranny Hill this season. So he's Deion. What's going to be the case if they get DeAndre Hopkins? You might, and then you'll bounce back against Detroit. Then you'll win against the Cardinals because the Cardinals are trash. Then the Seattle Seahawks, mm, a little bit of a trap game, but I would give this one to the the Seattle Seahawks because they have a better offense. I would take definitely DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett and Jackson Biffin Ujigba over washed up Odell Beckham and Zay Flowers. And uh, And notice how he doesn't mention Geno Smith's quarterback. That doesn't mean anything. Geno, just because Geno Swift is a quarterback doesn't mean the Seattle Seahawks are going to suck. Literally, you all said the same thing last year, that the, the Seahawks were going to suck, and what did they do? No, he doesn't miss the Ravens. But don't worry. You guys will bounce back against Week 10 against the uh, Browns, but then you'll lose to the – So the we're going to get swept. He really doesn't even do like why half and half. Owns you. Dumbass. I because I don't I'm not like you CEO and split divisional games, and plus it's a fact Joe Burrow owns the Ravens. Literally, he it's not a, the Rave not the it's not even that. It's just like the Bungles have a better roster overall than the Ravens do. Yes. The Chargers. Now, if this was a home game, I would probably give it to the Ravens, but it's an away game. You're playing against the Chargers. The it's going to be at home. The Chargers got no um, fans. Better team on paper, so <laughs> and plus it's in Los Angeles. Now that's another lie. The Chargers do have fans. I know you probably don't. You think that their stadium is empty, but the reason why I say that, you know, they're traveling to Los Angeles. It's and what? So what are we talking about? So we'll, we'll give it to the Chargers, but you have a buy to rest and recuperate. But you're at home against the Rams, then you bounce back. But then I see you losing to Jacksonville. I see you losing to the 49ers. Dolphins, trap game in my opinion, but I'll have to give it to you. 
depending if two up is playing and then we'll give you we'll we'll give you the week eighteen matchup against the oh, they're gonna he's gonna give you some C one like right. The reason why I'm giving you the fucking Steelers is because we don't know what Kenny Pickens gonna be. Here's the thing that you don't understand. As much as the Steelers like we don't know what Kenny Pickens is, they have a better roster around them. And a much better defense. I'm not saying Kenny Pickett's special, but if Kenny Pickett is just a below average, I, I could see the Steelers winning nine, eight games this year. One, <laughs> six, nine. So the Baltimore Man, Ravens will win eight. eight to nine games. I said eight to nine is their fucking maximum wins because of how hard of a stretch that the Ravens have. All right. You guys overpaid Lamar Jackson, which was hilarious to me. Hilarious. The CEO team would had my fucking money. Justin the Bears will win 10 less. games and you guys. That's another lie. Our, our GM Ryan Poles doesn't overpay. You're forgetting that this franchise didn't want to give Roquan a huge bag. Like, that's hilarious to me and be like, oh, the Bears would pay Justin Fields for doing last when we haven't seen them negotiate a contract. And plus, this is not Ryan Pace. This is a totally different GM that has proved that he can keep players at the right price. As will be two games behind us, per usual, because we're in an easier conference than you. And... Do you want to know what the trend is that quarterbacks get paid a lot of money? They get paid a lot of money, then they suck the following year. Yeah, I've seen it for many quarterbacks. I've seen it. And that's, this is another thing. They dick ride people that um, tend to roast me, but they don't really. They, they just do it because, you know, they want to. It multiple times. I've seen it through Aaron Rodgers getting paid. I've seen it for Eli Manning getting paid. I've seen – uh, Joe Flacco get paid a lot of money after he won the Super Bowl, then proceeded to be absolute mm-hmm. dog shit. Quarterbacks that get paid a lot of money tend to suck. And let me, let's be honest, CEO, the 50-50 games that if you can that you are gonna lose to probably the Dolphins. If you lose to the Dolphins and you lose to the Steelers twice, or if you lose to the Browns twice, because I actually believe that the Sean Watson is going to bounce back. So let's just say hypothetically you get sweeped by the Browns. Sure. That is going to be – You saying sure, but if the Sean Watson returns back to where he once was, it's not out of the possibility that the, he can sweep the Ravens because the Browns have a better roster than the Ravens, better offense, even better defense. Saying a lot. About Lamar Jackson, oh, are we even sure Lamar Jackson's like the second best quarterback in the AFC North? Like, the Sean Watson is better than Lamar Jackson, mm-hmm. and Joe Burrow is better than uh, Lamar Jackson. Definitely, they're all better than Justin Fields. It's a fact. Being the Sean, I mean. I'm not going to disagree. Deshaun Watson and Joe Burrow are better, but if Justin Fields does break out and he wins a playoff game, you know he has a better record already than Lamar Jackson does in the playoffs. Shit. CEO, okay. have my fucking money at the end of the year when the Bears win more games than the Ravens. Anyways, thank y'all for watching. As- Yo, Michael makes me sick. God. Now, I dropped a link. I didn't see this video at all, so we're, we're going to give you special treat. Michael, I hope you're in the chat because you haven't commented at all, so you know. I don't comment because I was fucking doing some shit. I was fucking... I don't know. I forgot what I was doing, but I, I thought I think I was probably either editing or probably playing a video game when I was watching this because RJ, nor- normally that's the time when I... Just because I don't comment doesn't mean I'm not watching. But, uh... I dropped the link of what his what he thinks his record prediction is going to be, so you can click on that and share your screen. Oh, wh- whose record prediction? The Bears through his mouth. And we're oh, gonna oh okay, yeah. Let's look at that. Yeah, you're right. Let me look at that shit. 
I didn't see this one, CEO, because I, I couldn't bear. I, my ears were bleeding from that last video, so I couldn't fucking. But like, my, Michael can't even surprise me more. Like he's. What's good? That random editor. Dolphins ain't winning since Tua turned the ball over. So what's good? Uh, that random editor. Make sure to subscribe, man. What's good, Taj? What's up? Where are you hiding? We'll turn, when ten games or more games, what the fuck? People, Michael is the uh, like the, the like uh, our dude. Again, you know, you don't have to tell the people that it's me or don't have to introduce myself. Everybody knows who the fuck I am. He said the village idiot. Village idiots. So, you know, just. All right, let's go. Kind like Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Not the type of shit that gets you high. What's up, everyone? This is the Chicago Sports Talk, Michael. Here today with another video the bears will win 10 or more games because we have a very good roster i just don't see us uh losing a lot of games because this roster is very fucking good you got dj moore you got uh darnell mooney back you got chase claypool you got kokomed you got robert tanya you got a good offensive line you also uh, have a, I wouldn't say they're a great defense, but they're some, they're, they're pretty above average for the most part. TJ Edwards, uh, Tremaine Edmonds, you, you got, uh, Jalen Johnson, Tyreek Stevenson, Kyler Gordon, Jaquan Brisker, Eddie Jackson. I mean, that's a stacked defense. We literally Plus, have a have better the, defense, but you, he, he front, fell. you don't have a better defense. That's the points what I'm trying to make. You guys don't have a better defense. Besides Roquan, you don't have a good defense, my dude. Like, here's what Raven fans do. They overhype their defense and then they're bottom five. Like, the did the Ravens add a good defensive player that I'm not aware about? I mean, the only thing that they that their big move was on defense was actually extending uh giving Roquan that huge contract that the Bears didn't give him. To it's mention just, that it's like dangerous, room. you know. You got uh, Javon Dexter, uh, Zach Pickett's, who Chris jo- Javon Dexter was a high rated uh defensive tackle draft prospect. That's a f- and Zach Pickett's is also another one, jo- uh, not not Chris Jones, uh, jo- Justin Jones. Demarcus Walker, Walker and I have no add, idea, brother. Gonna add one more pass. The reason why you're saying you don't know because y'all don't pay attention to our offseason. The only move that you statistically say that we all we did was get DJ Moore. Rush. I mean, the Bears have this team loaded for a lot of. Sure. Loaded. I mean, we got an easy week one and week two you. opponent because the Packers have technically you a guys will still lose. That's an easy win, you know. Mm, still lose to the Packers, RJ. Dude, we're at home, and the Packers have a rookie quarterback starting. Easy win. And then the Buccaneers is an easy win. Uh, Chiefs, it's going to be an interesting game. I can't believe he's contemplating the Bears would like whether do against um, the Bears. Pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Pause. I can't do this, Steve. I can't do this. <laughs> Yo, this thing is actually I can't do this. an interesting game. Interesting um, game? That's a murder. <laughs> Y'all forgetting that the Chiefs have a bottom five defense. You're acting like the Bears are gonna fucking lay down in this game. If you have, if you want me, if you're gonna ask me how do I think the game is gonna go, I think it's gonna be a high score game for both teams. It's literally gonna be a high score game. It's gonna end up with the Chiefs winning because you know they're the better, obviously the better team. <laughs> fuck is you talking about bro see this is why we can't take him seriously like he can't even be biased enough to be like okay yeah you know the Chiefs is probably a fucking loss Someone said- the, re- the reason why I say it's a loss be- because the Chiefs are the better team I'm not I'm not gonna say hey we're gonna get we're gonna get murdered in this game dude we're gonna we're gonna score in this game because the Chiefs have a bottom defense bro that's what you're not realizing. The reason why I say it's going to be an interesting game is because it's going to show how the Bears can compete with a contender like the Chiefs. Did I say that the Bears could win this game? No, I never said that. I said that it's going to show us 
what the Bears can do if they plan to make the Super Bowl in the next two to three years. Yeah. There's something up here. Uh, Donnie, let's go, Donnie. What did Michael say to do you to roast him? See, here's the thing, uh, Donnie. Michael, we have we all have a Discord, right? Michael consists. If y'all don't know what the Discord is, it's basically, you know, I'm in a Discord with these folks. Recently, adds us about dumb shit about the Bears. So we have to. That's not a lie. Y'all at me. Sia literally added me the other day talking about Tremaine Edmonds calling this team a rebuild team. And what did, who did he at? He added me. And then I have to put him back in his place because, you know, players don't like talking to the media because the media, like you guys, you know, take out of context what they say. To remind them every day that, bro, your Bears ain't doing shit, bro. You bags, bro. But you can continue, man. All right. But we're not there yet. Broncos, honestly, Broncos, it's kind of a toss-up, but I would have to give it to the Broncos. They're probably well coached. Sean Payton is, in my opinion, going to – I wouldn't say that he's going to resurrect uh, Russ to when he w- once was, but that's a toss-up game. I wouldn't be surprised if the Bears won that. The Commanders game is easy. You know, they have a r- unproven Sam Howell. And the Vikings game, we'll win that. The Raiders game, we will win that. The Chargers, I wouldn't be surprised if we win that, but the Chargers no, are the better shit, team. bro. He- the reason why I say that I'm, I wouldn't be surprised because their coach is proven to be a fucking hack. You all don't know their, don't know who their head coach is. It's Brad Stanley. And the Chargers were in a lot of close games last year. Because of Brad Stanley's incompetent play calling. Like, y'all don't do your research on how, like, if you go look at last year Chargers games, most of them lost, uh, most of them, the games that they won, they either won by one. They were basically like the Minnesota Vikings, but the Minnesota Vikings were more frauds than the than the Chargers were. He, he, he won't be that, surprised if they won against, like, the fucking the Chiefs. So, I'm. No, that's another lie. I would be surprised if we beat the Chiefs because I know this is true, and every year that the Bears won a game that they have no business winning against. Last year was the 49ers. Even if you don't want to say the 49ers, we were not supposed to win against the Patriots. The Patriots were a favorite uh, by a lot when we were facing them. In 2021, the Raiders were, I think, the team, a team that we beat that we, we were not supposed to win was either the Seahawks or the Raiders. I mean, everything else is honestly. That could change. The Saints will win that. Derek Carr, I'm, I'm not I'm not a huge believer in Derek Carr. The Saints will keep he's it smart, competitive, smart, but Derek Carr, I don't think he's going to be able to score more points. The Panthers, will. will it, it's going to be an interesting game for sure. DJ Moore playing his former team. And Bryce Young versus Justin Fields, we'll definitely win that game for sure. Oh, uh, post it. Okay, post we'll yeah. split with the. Do not post it. Do not post the Discord link in the chat individually. The Vikings, you know, Kirk Cousins. Yeah, play sure. Well on Monday Vikings, night football. Okay. It's possible because the Vikings didn't get better; they got actually worse. They dismantled their team after winning 13 games. They got they got rid of Adam Thielen. They got rid of Eric Kendricks. They traded Sidarius Smith for a bag of chips. They're about to trade to Neil Hunter, too, for a bag of chips. And they released Dalvin Cook, and they couldn't even get anything out of him. So it's – and it, plus it's prime time, Kirk Cousins. Lions will definitely uh, beat them. Browns, we'll give it to the Browns. I think Watson's going to have a bounce back year. Car- Cardinals – do we even need to say why? With we'll Murray. Win, we'll win okay. that, shit. that doesn't mean anything. Just because they have Kyler Murray, that game doesn't mean that they're gonna win. They don't have they don't have a better team around Kyler Murray. I mean, who's his number one receiver? Highwood Brown, Rondell Moore, and their defense didn't even get better. And plus, when we do face them, they're probably gonna trade half of their assets. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they trade Buda Baker before the trade deadline. I mean, just because they have Kyler Murray doesn't mean anything. The Falcons will win that. And Packers, 
Um, I'll give that to the Packers. I'm not sure if we're confident that we're going to sweep. So that's probably one, two. If you give a three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's basically eleven wins that I'm predicting. But and if you can, and basically, let's say, what if? If we turn the Broncos and the Chargers, that's kind of like 13 wins if we can win those games. What the <laughs> fuck? I'm not able to win. What do you mean? Why are you guys laughing? I said this before in my videos, depending how you feel about Russ, if you think Russ is going to be the same quarterback he was last year, then you probably have us winning that game. But if you don't think that Russ is going to suck, you probably have us losing that game. And plus, if we yeah, Mike, when if you add the Chiefs, that's fourteen. We lose to the Broncos, we lose to the uh, Chargers, but we sweep the Packers. That's like twelve wins right there in a nutshell. That's because I believe in this team. I, I believe, believe in this culture. This I believe in Justin Fields. I love what he brings to the table. You know, yeah, you'll shit on Lamar, but then praise Justin Fields. The reason why I praise Justin Fields is because I believe he'll be a better thrower of the football than Lamar in, uh, when the season ends. You better hope that Lamar doesn't tear, doesn't get hurt, because if he gets hurt, you know, he fleeces y'all. Him and DJ Moore is going to be a top five duo in the NFL. Okay, sure. And right. it's just going to prove. Just like how Josh Allen wasn't going to work with Stephon Diggs, just like how Tua wasn't going to work with. Jalen Waddle and Tyree Kill. Just like, who else can I think of? I mean, this is what the media does. They're saying, oh, Justin Fields won't work out with DJ Moore. They, they said the exact same thing with uh, Josh Allen, Stefan Diggs. And they even said the same thing about Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown. Time and time again. It may take a few weeks for them to gel, but I'm very confident. Because the Bears – face defenses that are bottom. So the Packers defense, they still have Joe Barry. The Buccaneers, they have a somewhat good defense, in my opinion. The Chiefs, have they, they have a horrible defense. Uh, the Broncos, I think they'll, their defense is all right. The Commanders, I think they're all right as well. But the Vikings, Raiders, Chargers, oh, those defenses are very horrible my opinion. But that's just me. The Bears will have – I think the Bears are going to click right away, in my opinion, because I believe in fields. I believe in this team. Eber flus, it's not going to be like a clusterfuck like Matt Nagy culture was. Y'all the Bears fans so know how exciting I wasn't that cluster to into this. The reason why Matt Nagy was a clusterfuck because we ha- – here's the thing. Do you want to know what Matt Nagy had that Eberflus didn't have on, like, the team? Eberflus came in and we dismantled the team because we wanted – Pulse wanted to rebuild this team. When Eberflus came in, we traded Mac. We didn't re-sign Akeem Hicks. We didn't – we cut it Eddie Goldman. We cut uh, Danny Trebathan. We basically got rid of half of the roster. We also traded Roquan. We also traded Robert Quinn. The reason why Nagy even had success in the first place was because we always had a very good defense. The Bears' defense was not great last year. This year, Believe in your team. Believe in your quarterback. Believe in whatever you want because at the end of the day, you have to Trust in Justin Fields. All right, but that's it. I can't listen to this dumb nigga anymore. Oh my gosh, there's, there's no fucking way. Like, bro, like. <sighs> Michael, I mean, this is why I can't even, like, if you notice, I bet I try not, like, roast him anymore. Just like. like that's another lie right there. See, so you can statistically say you hold back, you hold back, but at the end of the day, we all know, no, that's not true. We all, you kind of lost your ways. 2020, you you were the top, you were the top dog, but now you're at the fucking bottom with the rest of the dudes. 
Y'all, you're just mad that I'm not a punching bag that I once was back in 2020. Y'all want me to be the, the 2020 butters. And y'all got mad, mad that I became more masculine and more tougher and become more knowledge of football than the rest of you. And plus, y'all saying that, oh, I, I don't know about football. Dude, I was right about the Giants upsetting the, the Vikings. You can go look at that. I was right about us beating the Niners week one. So what, what are we talking about? Y'all saying that, oh, I'm always wrong about my football opinions. Bro, every football opinion I've always been right on. Like, what's the point? Like he, he, you, you can burn him a, a million times, and he'll still get back up and say a dumb some some stupid. You know what, CEO? This is why I say sometimes you gotta let the children touch the stove. Doesn't matter how. And you see how uh, <clears throat> that's kind of a dumb way to do this. Because if I was a kid not touching the stove, I would be agreeing with everything you say. But that's not the whole point. The whole point is to, here's what y'all don't understand. We do this shit in the off season to get our fans to be hyped up about this season. I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, the Bears are going to not a win seven, six games. That's loser mentality in a fucking nutshell. Oh, doesn't matter how many times you tell them don't touch the stove. It's going to be fucking hot. And it's going to hurt you. No matter how many times we tell him the Bears are, are – th- he talks about the Texans saying they're a rebuilding team. Nicky, your Bears are rebuilding. That's a narrow lie. The Texans are a developmental team is because they have a rookie quarterback that they don't – that I believe is the best quarterback in this year's draft class. So unless – I said that they're winning six games. I'm not saying that they're going to win their division – I just think that they did better. They they even if they're mid, you know, they they like even last year the Texans uh I know their record well it kind of says but they were not a team that you should be sleeping on last year. Like a lot of teams did. Yes, that's what I kept telling them, bro. Like you 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 literally came off as the worst team last year. Notice how he only says that if you like I said, if you're basing the Bears this season about the win and loss record this year by last year's um, record, the Bears have improved their team from last year. The Bears don't have the exact same team as they did last year. And are you saying, oh, they, they're coming off the worst season? That doesn't statistically mean anything. You all forget that the Jacksonville Jaguars exist. And don't give me that shit. Oh, the, they won in an easy-ass co- conference, bro. Y'all, Some of y'all had the Colts. Some of y'all had the Titans winning that division. No one thought that Jacksonville would win that division. And don't give me all that Doug Peterson uh, is a proven coach. Dude, people were saying Doug Peterson's success was because of Frank Wright. I remember... I remember Eagles fans, you know, blaming Doug Peterson for tanking the last game. And that's why. And they were happy when they fired him. Literally, the whole Eagles locker room hated Doug Peterson. And I'm not I'm not going to say that he deserves his props for this year, but the Colts and the Titans were favored to win that division. No one thought that Jacksonville would win that division. Maybe you guys, maybe uh, maybe you guys did, but not the rest of the media. You literally came off as li- the worst motherfucking team last year. He's trying to compare himself to the Jacksonville Jaguars of last year. That's why. And, and my thing is, it's not just the Jacksonville Jaguars, the Chiefs, the Colts. L- literally, there's a thing on my community tab. You can go look at it for yourself when you're reacting to this. There has been nine teams that have had the first overall pick and then they turn it around the following season. Is you know what's funny? He always talks about the Lamar Jackson contract, right? Yeah. If if his uh what's it called? Um if Justin Fields has a decent season, like nothing special, right? No, not an MVP season, just a above average season. Yeah, the Bears overpay him, pay him something similar to Lamar. He'll justify that. 
No, I fucking wouldn't. Because here's the thing. If Justin feels like statistically because the media um, hypes him up a lot, if they saying that he's going to be an MVP candidate, if he's an MVP candidate by any chance, then I'm like, okay, maybe he deserves probably like 25 million to 30 million. But I'm not going to justify them giving Justin Fields 45 to 50 to 60 million, like how Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow, and uh, Deshaun Watson are getting. It, he'll justify that. But then yeah. he'll, he'll, in the same breath, he'll fucking shit on Lamar's contract. It's fucking. Because the reason why I'm shitting on Lamar's contract is because he hasn't done anything since out of outside of his 2019 season. He's been nothing but injury prone the last two seasons. Why do you think teams didn't want to trade for him? Not because, you know, if they give him guaranteed money, not only because of that, it's because, you know, he consistently gets hurt. Hilarious. Yeah. A uh, little spongy, bro. It's nothing against you, bro. I don't know you like that. I mean. So that's kind of the end of this video. I'm surprised it went over like 36 min minutes. And I'm pretty sure as soon as the, the Unfiltered Sports Podcast, you know, like the next Unfiltered Sports Podcast, they're going to fucking react to me reacting to them reacting to me. But this <laughs> is which is going to be hilarious, but. I just wanted to debunk everything that they say, but see, here's the thing with y'all casuals. Y'all don't understand why why half of us do this shit. We give our fans the hope. We're not going to... Here's the thing. We came here to debate football. We came here to talk football, and you want me just to be the punching bag that I once was. Here, see, here's the thing. I'm not like fucking Kaiju. I'm not like Lewis. I'm not all these people that you guys love to pick on. So here's the thing. I'm not laying down for your stupid ass. And if I'm right, you best believe I'm coming after everybody that um is doubting us. But that's it. That's all. Hit the subscribe button. As always, bitch.